Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabihi Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa jumain. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters in Islam. I hope you are all well. Once again I welcome you to my YouTube channel where we learn more about Islam and the truth about Islam. So on my today's topic I will ask you this question. What is the truth? Okay, each one of you can answer it according to how you know it but I'm going to tell you more about this truth so that we can understand what the truth is once again uh, if you've not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and like this video if you find it uh, helpful and share it to your friends to your families if you find it helpful okay what is the truth in islam the one true god has created the entire universe it is only this great god who made all humans and animals the earth and its mountains oceans and rivers plants and forest the sun and the moon galaxies and orbits days and night all other objects which we may or may not know or which have not yet been discovered are all aspects of his infinite creation. Allah made all life on earth and the whole universe, including time, space, energy, and matter. Allah also sustains the universe and everything in it and controls what happens in the universe and everything in it. However, some people might refer uh, their existence by chance hmm? like when we were we were in school we were told that a uh, humankind or mankind came from i don't know the monkeys the baboons such things the zinchantropas homo erectus homo sapiens such things they are uh, scientific so some people might uh, refer their existence by chance merely uh, to nature scientifically speaking let's define what they are talking about nature what is nature okay in your mind now if i ask you this question what is nature don't you agree with me that nature includes plants and planets orbits and galaxies valleys and mountains oceans and rivers earth and sun eh? this is nature all these things when combined together uh, they are referred to as nature. There is no nature without these things that I have just listed, moon, stars, and other objects. Have, the, have these things created themselves or have these things created human beings? Because uh, scientifically, uh, people may say that we just came by uh, chance or maybe uh, merely to nature by you see, things like that, but they don't understand the true uh, why uh, who created us or how we were found on earth. Quran 2.21 says, O mankind, worship your Lord who created you and those who came before you that you might be, uh, that you may become Russians. Uh, that is Quran 2.21. Quran 39.5 says, he, God, created the heaven and the earth for truth. Quran 21, uh, 33, it says, it is, it is he who created the night and the day and the sun and the moon. You see, now the Quran affirms that God is the creator of the universe. The Quran affirms that God created everything that we know and th those ones that we can't know, we can't... Uh, we can't see those ones that we don't know, something like that. Some people argue that there is no God because they can't see, touch, or conduct him. Many people, by the way, especially scientists, uh, they argue that there is no God because they can't touch him, they can't conduct him, they can't see him. Okay, now let me ask you a question. When someone tells you that he loves you, can you physically see this love? Or do you know the color of love? Do you know the weight of this love? Okay, let me uh, put it this way. For example, air that we breathe. Have you ever seen it with your uh, bare eyes? What about the feelings? What are their colors, shapes, and size? What about sleep? 
what is its color or weight. So how many things do we believe in without seeing them? The same way we believe in God without seeing him. Hmm? Because these things are not tangible does not mean that they don't exist. They exist because we are breathing in and out. And that is God's mercy towards us. That's um, God's power towards us. Because if no, uh, no breath, no life. We must breathe so that we can have life. Any person who doesn't breathe, that person is considered dead. So these things that uh, they are not tangible, we can't touch, we can't conduct, we can't uh, see them. They exist, but we can't see them. Eh? Like air, we can't touch it. Wind, like wind, we just see it. Uh, we just see the objects moving, like maybe the trees, uh, they are swaying. My, like maybe when there is that uh, sandstorm, we just see the sand being lifted up by the winds. But we can't see the wind that is doing all that, all that things or the, all that work. But only God knows where wind come from because it exists. So we know that wind exists, but we can't see it. By the same analogy, if we can't see God in this life because of our limited faculties and senses, which can't comprehend his greatness, this must not make us deny his existence. Okay, we can't uh, uh, deny God's existence because because we can't see Him. Oh, so this uh, truth, yeah, uh, this truth can only be found in Islam, where there is only one God, eh, uh, the Creator and Sustainer of the universe. We must not consider anyone or anything above or equal to him. This one true God, Allah, has created us to know and, and worship him alone. Uh, those who correctly worship him and completely follow his commandments will be admitted to paradise, eternal life. On the other hand, those who disobey Allah will go to hell because of their lusts sinful desires those uh, those lust and sinful desires will be taken to the hellfire to abide therein forever so my brothers and sisters in islam let's worship only one god let's do our salah uh, frequently so that to avoid uh, so as to avoid the wrath of god i hope you have understood until next time assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh